Okay, Chimera's dead. I've been putting off putting this off way too long. Let's deliver those salts. Just a dozen more kettles, then it's off to the top. You again? Ugh, what in the seven's house do you want this time? I have the salts you're looking for. A fine grain in form of the mineral alumina, found in the stomach of the dorm chimera. It is believed the creature grinds chunks of alumina ore with its powerful jaws, and swallows the resulting powder to use as a catalyst for its fiery breath. And of course, the adventurer comes back triumphant. <sighs> Should have bloody known not even the Chimera would be able to put you out of misery. And over those aluminum salts, don't get right to work. There, the deed's done. I've squeezed out, squeezed out every ounce of my skill to restore your weapon, and I think you'll agree it looks the part. And if there's some out missing somehow, I'm buggered if I know what. The beast just lacks a certain glow, as it were. We need to learn more about the relic. Literature surrounding the hero associated with it would be a fine place to begin. But I ain't exactly a scholarly, and having the slightest inkling where to get me hands on such stuff. As such, as much as I hate to say this, Rowena's probably the one to talk to. Thing is, I'd sooner shove hot kettles on me arse sideways than owe that thrice damned Herod in another debt. You're going to have to make yourself useful once again. Take yourself to Rowena and ask for her help. And return here once you've learned some out what might be of use. Alright, Revenant's tall. So Rowena will be in her house of splendors over there. I should really poke around here and see if there's uh, unlocks for my crafting and gathering classes. I never really found where to do the collectibles for level 50 yet. You're looking a bit more run down than before. Your dealings with Geralt taking their toll? I actually forget I even asked. My mouth tastes a bile if I so much think of, think of that sorry specimen. So is there something you need? You were looking for books regarding this uh, lancer? Literature and the hero of old who once wielded your weapon. Hmm. I reckon I could find what you need. Might take a bit of time is all. Of course, this ain't of charity I'm running here. I can get you what you want, but you'll have to do likewise for me. I'll track down literature on St. Renette. For your part, you're, you, you're to bring me an Amdapur glyph. You'll find this inside Amdapur Keep, a ruined castle situated in the South Shroud. Clear on the deal, and run along and fulfill your part of it. Okay. Let's complete the objectives of Amdapur Keep. Let's complete the quest of Ghosts of Amdapur. Okay. I'm not sure where that is. Is this one of the ones... I think this is the one that was started near the Waking Sands, so let's hop over there. Worst case scenario, I'm at a ticket for no reason. Nedric, do you know anything about Amdapur Keep? Does the name sound familiar to you at all? Hell yeah, it does! <laughs> you don't mind me saying, it seems to me you've been wanted for stimulation of late. Aye, the air of torpor about you is quite palpable. Adventurers are, are as next of kin to explorers, my friend. 
Like us, you need regular doses of excitement, else you're like to shrivel up and die. I'd hate to see that happen to you, so I'll tell you of a place that'll surely set your heart to racing. Amdapur Keep. It is a ruined fortress situated in the South Shroud, dating back to the Fifth Astral Era. If the thought of delving into the past sets your loins afire, the keep will surely serve to quench it. The entrance is watched by a wood whaler named Maxine. Give her my name and she will tell you all you need to know. Alright. Mysteries does this place hold? Okay. See you there, Maxine, but I'm going to take a look around real quick. Oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. I don't even see, like, a door that won't open that theoretically would lead in. That's a little funky, but whatever. Here at Nedrick's recommendation, you must not be without skill. That said, it is my duty to warn you of the dangers that await. This forest, th this fortress was built by the Amdapori, an ancient, ancient people who rose to power upon arcane knowledge. During the heyday of their civilization, they built magnificent structures such as this. Alas, that splendor has long faded into memory, and the keep has become a lair for the lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult. I thought we fucking dealt with them. All right. Some of the cultists have even succeeded in summoning void scent, and we wood whalers welcome capable adventurers would be willing to keep their numbers in check. All right, once more into the breach, M to poor keep is unlocked. Um, well, we'll cut ahead to when we go into this dungeon. I don't really remember much about it, so I might just bumble my way through it. <laughs> might not be right now, but for you, it'll be instant. So here we go into M to poor keep. get less devout after watching their god explode. And yet, here we are. Music is a little low, but I guess it's just a little quieter here than I thought.
mob packs as a dragoon at level 50 are not that interesting. <laughs> the boss fights are fun, but... Even though we have the one AoE skill, so you're really just pushing the same button. does like their discount on players. Did it. Oh right, there's like a hidden chest in this dungeon. It has a minion people like. Is that just better than what I have? I guess so. Excellent spicy day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh god, living through those always feels great. <laughs> God, they started the fight. Okay.
this used to be like a real DPS check because uh, like every time it goes through that cycle it gets a little bit closer and the room you have between it and the wall gets less and less. But nowadays we do so much damage it is trivial. <laughs> Have it on. It's nicer than what I have. I'll probably still glamour it, but maybe not. The H card might not love the idea of the Azure Dragoon being a foreigner. Or the, the second one, presumably, the Simeon turned up eventually. understand what they're pulling. They're either very good or not great. I don't really know how to tell. Taboga. Alrighty. I think I remember all the mechanics for this guy. bit is that he's got a forward cleave and a backwards cleave, so you sort of just need to stand to his side the whole time. And the other thing is he has some sort of AoE that you need to, like, line of sight with the statues, I think? Well, at the rate we're running him down, he might not even do it. Oh, there it is. Imminent Catastrophe. Holy shit. Wow. It's, we've outscaled it so hard that the tank didn't even move and it didn't make him flinch. Notice how good all the glamours these people have are. It's a cool look, cool little group we had here. Alright, 
All right, back to Mordona. Ah, I was here for something unrelated. But we'll pick up when we go back to Rowena. All right, we've cleared out a keep and fought some demons, and we have that glyph for Rowena. Ah, good lad. This is exactly what I was after. You've honored your part of the bargain, so I'll, and so I'll do the same. Oh, give me a book. Okay. <laughs> Back to the North Shroud. Yeah, it's worth the teleport. I was thinking of maybe stopping to do some of the plot, but we could do this first. I want this legendary spear before we get to Heaven's Word. Geralt, I come bearing literature. Back to pester me so soon. Judge for that smirk in your face, I take it you found what you need. The Book of Renette. Leather bound copy of religious Ishgardian text portraying the life and times of Saint Renette. Aye, this text is about Saint Renette. Alright. The gods would have killed the bugger that wrote it to use some bloody normal words. It'll take me bleeding moons to get through this lot. Time I could be spending on kettles. Gah, well, I try to make head or tail of it all. Why don't you take this here unfinished, Gabolg, and try it out? As I mentioned before, it's still missing some it. But it's all there shape-wise, meaning it should serve just serve you just fine as an ordinary weapon. Seeing as you're a ripe old dragoon, maybe hope you'll feel maybe hope you'll be able to feel out exactly what it wants for. That's that's to say, get out there and fight some nasty foes, as Saint Renat himself must have done back in the day. Natalan, the Exali stronghold over in Carthus ought to serve your needs. Ah, uh, the same place you found the lance. Pitch yourself against some Natalan bold wings, fog collars, and swift beaks. Eight of each, say. And come back and tell me what you gleaned. With the information in the text and your first-hand experience, I reckon we'll solve this puzzle yet. Alright, let's fucking go. Time to bring some damage against some birds that may or may not deserve it. I'm not going to pretend all the Ixil and Madeline are innocent. <laughs> Those are the folks that tend to summon Garuda. Alright, I need to equip the weapon. Unfinished Gable. does have the look. I could just call it done here and now. But no. My honor's on the line.
buffs. <laughs> Should have saved that dragon fire dive. The one. Yeah, not really worth it. All right, I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna clean these guys up, and we'll cut back to going to Geralt. <laughs> Welcome back. It took like five, ten minutes. Basically, just had to wait for someone to respawn. There was another Dragoon in there that was doing the same thing, though, so I sort of had to race them for it. Alright, Geralt. I killed a bunch of birds. Back already. By the frown you're wearing, I take it you've got nothing to show for your time with the birdman. Hmm, might be as you want for better sport. And I know just the creature what'll give it to you. The Hydra what reign over the fiends of within Halatali. A nasty piece of work, that. Try not to piss your britches when you see it. Okay, the Hydra could be confronted via the duty finder. Alright, back to Halatali again. Which is this? Which kind of one? I 
forgot how little preamble there is for the Hydra. Like, at least with the Chimera, it's like, oh, they've got something in their belly that you need specifically for this thing. This is like, you should get a monster to fight. There's a Hydra. Try fighting that. <laughs> Alright, let's queue up for that, I guess. Without further delay, the Hydra. Okay, so, uh, it's time to follow up about Ovi. Uh, in an earlier video, uh, we unlocked the beginning of this quest, and I know that we also done, like, the first bits in a different video still. So, we are headed off to Earth's font to rendezvous with the Padral Oap Pasi. Uh, and perhaps see what they have to say about Odin. The Dark Divinity. Adventurer, thank you for coming. We seek the Dark Divinity, and you must be made privy to the plan before the game is afoot. As you know, Odin hunts in this forest. We would banish him from the Shroud. Yet, in, the, in actual fact, he has fallen before countless adventurers already. By all rights, the primal should plague us no more. Yet, though again and again he is vanquished, he rises always to charge through the Twelveswood. His constant reappearance is perplexing, to say the least, and raises two questions. Who summons him, and how does he change his visage upon manifesting? Odin is alone amongst these primals, uh, amongst the primals in these aspects. Indeed, I can find not a single sentence in the scriptures that sheds light on his devilish abilities. There is no answer in words writ of the pen. Now the sword must serve. Our plan is to send a band, a band of adventurers against the Dark Divinity. Brother Asumion, my master, and I will, res will observe the battle from afar. We believe seeing the moment of Odin's defeat may give us a clue one that will lead to uncovering the truth of the primal that has escaped us thus far. Naturally, this hinges upon the company's victory. No one but a warrior of light could hope to survive the battle. Hence, I have asked you here. Indeed, without you, our venture is doomed to failure. So I implore you, lend us your strength. If you acquiesce, I shall invoke the power of the elementals and draw the dark divinity to this spring. All right. At your word, I will evoke the elementals to draw him to the spring. Pray enter as soon as you are ready. Alright. Uh, well. I expected a little bit more preamble there. I guess, without further delay, let's go fight Odin.
All right, done and dusted. I do, the, the weapon seems like it's working, but I do also see what Sid meant about it not quite being done. So, let's uh, report back and see if he has anything else for us. You'll notice I'm not in the job ar armor currently. <laughs> I'll probably glamour back to it for when we head over to Heaven's Work, but for now I'm just using the Ironworks gear, which is the strongest gear available to me. Alright, Geralt. You're... You're still alive? How the hells do you adventurers have to be so goddamn sturdy? I was bloody sure you'd be hydra done by now. <sighs> but what's done is done. Or in this case, not done. Any road, let's talk about that text you brought. It contains an account of St. Renette's painfully pious life. Seems to be a part of Ishgard's holy scriptures. Be true to the fury, live in virtuous penury, dedicate your life to the blah, bloody blah. The book fair put me to sleep, and not even eleventeen flagons of mead can do that. Any anyway, road, one bit touched on old Renette, Saint Renette's time as a dragoon. That's where I found a passage describing the relic spear it gave Olg. Turns out the base of the spearhead, that's the bit where it looks like wings, ain't just for show. Apparently it helps dragoons get their arc just right when they're leaping on their prey. As you can see, I've done my research. I trust you've also been pulling your weight, putting the relic to use, like I said. Well, go on then. Tell me what you've learned. I think it's just like, it needs some juice. It's still a, a totally functional weapon, but like, doesn't really step to some of the other stuff. Is that so? I had wondered about that. Based on what we've gleaned from the text in your first hand experience, I'll rework the relic so as to improve, improve your affinity with it. Hand it over for a second, will ya? Okay, let me put something else. There, the deed's done. That leaves us with one last step. That is, fully merging the old relic, the new host, and the soul of the bearer. Aye, that's you. Only then can the weapon be restored to its former glory. But to do this, I need a fire what's hotter than the seventh hell, and to keep such a fire alive and raging, I need a wind what's fiercer than the... than the... der... hangover I had last week. Gah, you know what I mean. Just get me a white-hot ember, a howling gale, and a chunk of hyperfused ore, and I'll finish your bloody weapon. Ah, and I need a need me a bottle of Radzat Han quenching oil as well to cool it off. The White Hot Ember, the Howling Gale, and the Chunk of Hyperfused Ore can be obtained by defeating Ifrit in the Bowl of Embers, Veruda in the Howling Eye, and Titan in the Navel, respectively. A bottle of Radzat Han quenching oil can be obtained by exchanging 15 elegant tombstones of poetics with Oriana, one of Rowena's assistants of Revenant's Toll. Alright. Well, you know what that means. It might be time for a montage, because future me doesn't hate past me enough yet. <laughs> well, here we go.
and montage over. Nope. No, that's correct. Okay. Uh, let's see if Geralt has uh, the stuff ready. He said this was the last step, so let's see if that's true. <laughs> so you're back. Never doubted for a second you'd trounce all three primals and come back to pester me again. All right, then. Let's see the white hot ember, the howling gale, and the hyperfused ore. Here you go. Aye, these ought to get me the levels of heat I need, which leaves just the rods out on quenching oil for cooling things off afterwards. You got that too, I assume? I do. Here you go. You've done your part, and so I'll do mine. Watch now and try not to bat your eyelids. And every day you get to see a relic reborn. <laughs> These gods given hands worked yet another miracle. Feast your eyes on Gabolge, just as it was in the days of yore. Ah, tis a sight to move a man to tears, you lucky bastard. You'd better bloody well take care of it. All right. And with that... All right. I do believe that means that we are ready for Heaven's work now. Um, at least from the Dragoon side of things. Let's go wrap up everything else we needed to get done. <laughs>